Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Today. Okay, so all you're going to need to pick a lock is two paper clips, a little bit of time, a lock of course, of your choice, and a pair of pliers or multi-tool. Just Remember, just try to get this type of lock that uses a key. Besides the lock, so you can put that over there for now, you're going to need some tools. Now, paper clips, as they are, will not be able to open it very easily. But you can make a tool out of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper clip and you're just gonna bend out the first part of it into that position and then to straight. I like my paper clips straight. You can also put them at the angle that they were just at, which was right here. You can either have it in that position or in that position. Just had a bee fly over my head. <laughs> now you're just going to take your pair of pliers, which is where your pliers come in, or one of the times, and you're just going to bend the tip of your paper clip down just slightly. You don't want too much of a bend, like you don't, you want it kind of, you want it like a very steep drop. Personally, that's what I like as a steeper drop. Let's see here. So something like that will work. Next, you're going to need a tension rod to be, act as the lever to open and also keep the pins in place inside your lock. You are going to open up your paper clip all the way, like every bit of it. Just like that, straighten it out, just like so. Then you're going to grab it in the middle with a pair of pliers. It doesn't have to be perfectly middle, just halfway percent in the middle. You're then going to bend the paper clip in half, both sides together like that does not have to be anything fancy you'll then have this little top piece that you are just going to take and pinch that with your pair of pliers or multi-tool or whatever you're using just pinch that down into something like that next you can do whatever you want with the two end get that little tool like that now to finish this tool off you will see inside of this lock this wants to focus you'll see inside of that lock that there's a big hole and on the bottom in this position there's a big hole so you're going to stick this part of your paper clip right there you're going to stick that into the big hole and you're going to bend the paper clip so don't stick it in just a little bit stick it in a decent amount it doesn't have to be all the way in just stick it in about half an inch and then bend your paper clip down. It's not very hard. Anybody could bend it in half. It's a paper clip. And you will have something that looks sort of like this, depending what you do, but it will be close to this. So now you're getting into the lock picking side of things. So for demonstration purposes, I will use this. And you know what? I'll use a blue lock just because it sticks out a little better. You can see inside of there, that's, there's that first pin. And there'll be a bunch of those little pins inside of this lock. Now what you're trying to do is bring each individual pin into the place like a key. A key has each of those little bumps in it, making all the little pins line up in a position that it brings the pin down into the exact position it needs to be, and then the lock opens up. I don't know the exact terminology, some of you lock masters are probably going to laugh at me, but <laughs> I just started yesterday and thought I'd share what I learned. So first things first, you're going to take your tension lever or rod or whatever you want to call it, and you're going to stick it in the big hole at the top, right there, and you're going to put tension on it just to keep the lock like act as a key turning 
and also it keeps the pins locked in place when you pick each individual one. Now you're going to take your actual pick and you're going to go all the way to the back of the lock and you're just going to kind of do a rocking motion while pulling out and just repeat that process over and over and after doing that a few times if it didn't open all you're going to do is take the tension off your tension rod and just let it kind of sit for a sec then you're going to put the tension back on and repeat and just keep picking each individual pin and just keep taking tension off and repeating now so a lot of times the picking will be easier than others and if you can't open it just try adjusting your bend in your tip of your paper clip just keep adjusting that until you can actually open the lock and just like that your lock opens up and you have opened your first padlock next i will try this lock just to prove that it's really with any lock this is another master this works with any type of key lock though again put tension on it reach in there with your and voila that opens up like that and you've picked two locks now just to prove the point I have a third lock this is the one we just opened this is the third this is just a just a little extra to prove and take your pin or your pick I should say and go all the way in the back and individually pick the pins until it opens and you will be able to open these locks very easily with a bit of practice. Only use this. This is advised by me. But by me, not by me. This is advised by me. Only use it to pick your own locks. And don't go over or be creepy with this. Just have fun with it. Don't break into other people's houses or anything like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would be so appreciative if you go down there and hit that like. And over on the right side of the screen is a subscribe. If you hit that subscribe, you'll basically just get in your subscriptions. It will show you when we make a video. Then, if you want to, you can also turn on the bell. And that will actually give you a notification for every time that we make a video. We make all kinds of fishing, hunting, outdoors, and I want to start making more stuff kind of like this. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. God bless. See you guys next time.